everybody, so I'm gonna try a new recipe today. This is, I don't know how to say her name, so I'm gonna butcher it, but the link will be in the description. Um, Miyoko, um, it's the lady that makes those really awesome cheeses that everybody likes to order that I haven't tried yet that are supposed to be amazing, and she's supposed to do like awesome things with uh, vegan cheese. Anyhow, I'm going to be making her recipe for a, um, the cheese mix or the cheese powder for mac and cheese. So I just quartered the recipe so I could see if I even like it before I make a big batch of it because I believe the full batch is enough for eight servings and this will be enough for about two servings. All right, so let me tell you everything we've got here. We've got a quarter cup of cashews, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of oat powder and I just took my regular oats and blended them up. I have one tablespoon of tapioca flour, same thing as tapioca starch, they're the exact same thing. Um, this is just shy of one teaspoon of regular paprika, just shy of one teaspoon of sugar, and then this is half of a teaspoon of mustard powder, half of a teaspoon of salt, and half of a teaspoon of onion powder. So all of this is going to go into my little mini prep chopper thingy-majig and we're going to blend it up until it's a fine powder. guys here it is takes about three to four minutes of um, continuous blending well not continuous ah. but um, stopping every once in a while to you know take your little spatula and scrape down the sides there's supposed to be no big chunks in here but after three to four minutes um, I did have a couple I don't even know if I can find you can see them like a couple little chunks about there you go that one right there decent size um, but again this is just a little mini prep one be where to use your regular um, Food processor might do a little bit better job but I'll just kind of pick the big chunks like that out there's just a couple uh, the rest of it's a really nice fine powder so I'm pretty satisfied with that and then let me give it a taste I'm curious what it tastes like just as just the powder let's see mm. Nutritional yeasty. <laughs> Probably be pretty good though. All right, so I'm going to put this in a small glass jar and store it for later use when I do want to use it. So in order to make this, um, you want to boil one cup of dried pasta, and then for the sauce, you take a third of a cup of this mixture and one cup of any plant milk of your choice. Obviously, you want to do an unsweetened, unflavored one. I'll be using my plain, unsweetened, unflavored soy milk. And you heat it up in a pan for about a minute, whisk it till everything comes together, then you mix it with the pasta. So I'm going to store this in a glass jar until I'm ready to use it, and then the video will continue. Alright guys, forgot to mention a couple of things. This is the smallest jar I could find, by the way, so if you made a full batch, it would probably fit in this jar. Um, there's my hand so you can kind of tell. It's like a two cup jar, and I think this recipe makes a little bit more than that, but I think it'll fit. Anyways. Um, you can store this uh, in your pantry so it's shelf stable for up to one to two months um, and then you can store it in your fridge for about six months. Just remember that there are cashews in here so you just want to be careful of the oils because it has been blended. So I'm going to just store mine in the fridge just to be on the safe side because I do live in Texas and it gets pretty hot. Um, so what I did is I just take, when I label my jars like this, I just take a piece of clear plastic tape and put it on the lid write what it is and this one I put the date on so I know how long it's gonna last for um, that's about it for now and I will see you guys when I make this wow that's awkward bye all right kids it's mac and cheese time so the only noodles that I have that weren't like the long stringy noodles um, was the quinoa corn pasta stuff. Um, so I'm going to cook up a cup of that and then I'm going to mix together a cup of the unsweetened plain soy milk with one third of a cup of the mac and cheese mix and uh, let you know how it tastes. So hopefully it's tasty.
it. For some reason, mine is staying lumpy. I can't get all the lumps out. I even tried to put a spoon in there and kind of like mush them out. Um, so maybe next time I might have to put it through like a fine mesh sifter before putting it into the soy milk. But I tasted it and the flavor is really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it with the pasta. All right, guys, here's what it looks like. It's nice and creamy, which is cool. So I am going to go ahead and do a taste test for you. Hey guys, you're on my Vitamix again, so sorry about the, you know, level. Don't mind the background noises, my husband is playing a video game. Let me try to get, it's really hot, so let me. That's what it looks like. It's really creamy. It smells good. We can tell that it has nutritional yeast in it though. That's good. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna make the big batch of this and keep this on hand. That's awesome. I'm excited. And again, that the, the third of a cup of the mix and the one cup of soy milk and the one cup of pasta, it's not a super huge portion, so just keep that in mind if you're making it for your family. I mean, that's, that's what it makes right there, sitting on my hand. So it's not, it's not huge, I mean, this will be enough for me, um, for your family, probably a third of a cup per person. I mean, if you have kids, this is probably enough for two little kids and maybe some like veggies and other stuff on the side, but it doesn't make a huge portion, portion so just keep that in mind. This is definitely a huge thumbs up. I'm very excited about this so I can have this on hand. And um, I will put the um, link that I use down below, so go ahead and check that out. It's really good if you guys have made this before let me know how you like it let me know if you've made any changes and if you haven't as soon as you do make it um, let me know and let me know what you do to it and I will talk to y'all later thanks for watching bye what you do is you cook a cup of dried pasta and you mix a third of a cup of this mixture where's my notes third of a cup of the cheese mixture with a third of, or with hopefully I'll edit all this out so in order to make this Justin's playing one of his video games and I had him uh, taste the pasta. What did you say, Bubba? Pretty good. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Would you eat it again? Yeah, I'd eat it again. Awesome. Yay, something he likes. Yay. <laughs>